Hey everyone, Panty here. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over my Terrify team. Now, I know it has taken a bit more than a month, but it's finally here. And in the next few days, I'm going to be uploading a couple of battles that um, really showcase Terrify's potential and why it's a threat. Um, so starting off, uh, I built this around my Brawny Clever Terrify. It's pretty nice in allowing you to... Um, it checks Metro net well, uh, sets up poison barbs, and it's really good against the common removal. Like, the, it destroys Venolin, it shoulder kind of struggles with it. Um, it's able to beat Hoganosh and Krakaloa. And so pretty much on the moves I'm running, I'm running Parasitize. Uh, because, you know, you need Parasitize, it's that move. And then Wing Slap to hit the things like, you know, Krakaloa, Swolder, um, fire types that me try to burn up my uh, hazard and then I have revolt so things can't like so if I am able to get a big hit, hit off of something like I just boosted hit on Swolder right I can't it's not able to heal up you know and then uh, lastly I have poison barge because well that's the whole point of the team around the poison barge <coughs> and then for the TPs uh, I have 12 energy, so I can use 4 parasitize, uh, 200 attack, because I want it to be as strong as possible, uh, 96 range defense for, uh, protagon melee attack boost, and also, uh, helps against Metronet more. And then for the HP, I have 88 HP, and that's just mainly leftovers, and, uh, speed lets me out speed, uh, 8C Botox, I think? Yeah. And so yeah, this is- it also- Terrify's main role on the team is to set a poison bar to be a big offensive threat. And also, it's um, a good check to um, Venolin, which this team kind of struggles with without it. And so moving on to my second minion, uh, Icicle is here, uh, mainly as the set of Icicle traps. And also, it's- um, able to help me out with Garlash and uh, Metronet, things that the team kind of struggles with, right? And uh, for the moves, I'm running Chili Chomp and Thunder Chomp as my two attacking moves. And this allows me to hit a lot of things that this team really needs to hit, like Garbantis, uh, Whipple Drift, um, South Reef, and then I'm running Icicle Traps. And the last move slot, I'm running Hypnotize because it lets my team set up and abuse whatever puts sleep, which is really helpful. But you could run Health Gift over this, but I don't know, I just kind of like Hypnotize. Although Health Gift is still a really good option. And then for the TP, it's 200 HP because it maxes out its health. 4 energy because of the 4 energy rule. Um, 72 melee defense so that you get 2 hit KO'd by a uh, bug essence, very nimble Garbantis. The range defense is that you get uh, four hit KO'd by uh, Metronet Pyrokinesis. The 16 speed is just so that you can outspeed Meditoad if you ever needed to. And then lastly, the rest is dumped into a melee attack. And then moving on, my Luminani, it's really helpful in this team because it's able to uh, take out a lot of the earth types that this team struggles with. And Mysterious does also allows me to pivot off things that would normally kind of like that I would have a problem switching into, like Swolder. I'm able to pivot off, off this because I have Mysterious stuff to remove my poison. So it's not a big deal, right? And so the moves, I'm running Maroon, um, Flash Pulse because Flash Pulse is just miles better than Gamma Pulse. Um, don't say that it misses because it doesn't and it uh, dazes them which is really helpful in some situations. And then peace of mind, um, to just like try to set up a win. And then flash and fleet to pivot into my strong attackers. And the reason I'm a very robust Luminami is because looking at my team indentation, it kind of like, nothing could really swap into it, so I need to make sure this is ranged. And then lastly for the TPs, I am running 200 HP, that is for max health, 
uh, 20 energy, so I can use flash, uh, five flash and fleas if needed. Uh, 200 melee defense, just because. 56 ranged attack. Um, I think this is just leftovers, and then the 24 ranged defense, it was, I think it was for like Ikazune or something. I'm not really exactly sure, but yeah, it's, it's there for a reason. And yeah, next up is my Tyrex, and Tyrex is really helpful on this team. Because if you, if you take away Tyrex, right, and then you look at Protagon, it destroys everything. Zulon, same thing. So yeah, it just really helps with those kind of things. And it's Bronny Clever, uh, moves and running, Earthquake, Steel Crusher, Power Focus, Scapegoat, just a pretty standard moveset. And then for the TPs, um, 12 energy, so I hit 250 energy, which is great for Tyrex, since all its moves are either 50 or 25 energy. Uh, the speed is to outspeed 8-speed uh, Blotox. And then the range defense and melee attack, they don't really serve a specific reason, but both of them are actually a double TP spot. And what that means is, if you didn't know, uh, instead of bumping up your stat by one point, it boosts it by two. So, yeah. And then is the Teclips. Uh, Teclips is helpful in helping play around things like Garlash and Hunter, it lets me swap into uh, that's brought to which which this team needs. And the reason I'm running Smart Nimble is because Shachi is a pretty big threat to this team. So I just need to make sure I outspeed it. And then moveset is Gloomish Roar, uh, Raging Howl, Gamma Pulse, Power Focus, pretty standard. And then for the TPs, 20 energy. I forgot what this was for exactly, but yeah. Um, range attack and speed because you know, strong and fast. Uh, 16 range defense so that Protagon gets the melee attack boost and then the rest is dumped into HP. And then moving on to my Volcaloa. Um, it's very nimble, tender, uh, clumsy, right? And the reason for this is because, well, Protagon. And the moves I'm running, this is a bit of a interesting moveset because normally, you know, why would you ever drop Savage Greed, right? But the reason I'm dropping it on this team is because against things like Stratosaur, right? Baiting in Stratosaur for Terrafly and Icicle could be huge. Because Stratosaur is likely going to be their only Poison Barb removal, so if they do bring that, I'm able to bait it in and then uh, do Fire Slam on it. And then, because they'll think that I dropped Coconut Bomb, right? They could go into their Ventation, and then that's another thing gone. So basically, uh, this can let you get a two for one. Uh, dropping Savage Greed does kind of suck. It makes you a bit more weak against your soul, uh, your snack. But that's honestly fine. Also, you can't really hit uh, Kirillin for super effective, but that's whatever. Uh, yeah, this is just a pretty good moveset for this team. And then the TP's uh, 200 melee attack and 200 speed, fast and strong. Uh, 8 rage defense, so Protagon gets a melee attack boost. Uh, 80, 84 energy? I forgot what it was for exactly, but... Yeah, it's another energy creep. And then, lastly, 8 HP is remainder. And then, this is the MeshNet, right? And, so basically, on this MeshNet, I am running Flabbergast, because it actually works really well with Terrify, right? Because all of MeshNet answers either really hate taking a poison, or they remove poison barbs themselves. So like Swolder, right? It's going to come in and then I flabbergast it and then it's going to have a really hard time actually uh, removing poison barbs, right? Because then they have to pretty much sacrifice something or Venom. And so basically the TPs I'm running, 200 uh, range attack and 200 speed, fast and strong. Uh, 36 energy was for another energy creep that I forgot about. And then the 64 HP is this remainder. And so yeah, this team is a lot of fun. It's I would say it's one of the most fun teams I've uh, made. And there are some problems with this though. Like Garlash is a pretty big threat. You know, sure you can play around it with Isagul, Luminami, and Teclips, but it's still a big pain. Uh, Metronet, if it's Flabbergast, it's also a huge problem. But that's part of the reason why I also run Fire Slam, 
because it allows me to hit uh, Metronet for super effective. And also, uh, Ikazune and Volkaloa could also cause some problems, but you can outplay them. Because if they're very nimble Volkaloa, it's, you know, well, if, first of all, Icicle can hypnotize them, and it's very nimble Volkaloa, Luminami and Siklis could possibly take a hit or two, and if it's very brawny, uh, things get a bit more dicey, but Volkaloa, my own Volkaloa, because it's very nimble, it could revenge kill. And then Ikazune, I can play around because I have and immunity to every single one of its attacks. Energy Surge could be absorbed by this, Thunder Strike absorbed by this, and Fire Breath absorbed by this. But this team is really good at destroying like common team archetypes. Like for example, just like Luminami swole their offense, right? Metronet tears that apart. Volkaloa destroys that. And you know, Tyrex and um, Volkaloa together put a lot of pressure on their Luminami if they do have one. So yeah, and also, if this team, if if you're running a call of snack team, basically Colossatrops in your snack, you pretty much lose because Metronet exists and destroys your entire team. And so yeah, that's basically my team. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and make sure to be tuned for the following videos that are coming in the next few days. Uh, until then, see you next time.